Hi, I'm Lorna Clydman, and this is part six of Snatch Basics. In this session, we'll go over breathing because people always need to know where do you inhale, where do you exhale. A very simple way I've come up with to focus on breathing is to just think about where to exhale. The reason for this is because once we exhale, it's pretty much guaranteed that we're going to inhale afterward. When we hear the phrase, hold one's breath, the holding usually occurs after the inhale. So if we just focus on where to exhale, it's pretty much guaranteed that we're gonna inhale afterward. So this is a really good way to simplify it. And this is the way I cue clients, is just to focus on the exhale. See if it works for you. So the options for exhaling, and granted, an inhale to follow, would be three exhales. The first exhale is on the backswing. That's always a mandatory exhale. Every time you go into the backswing with the bell, you're going to let all the air out. And the diaphragm will contract. The second option is to exhale as the bell comes out of its backswing. And then the third exhale will be in fixation. Now, when you're in fixation, depending on your pace or depending how tired you are and how much rest you need in the fixation, you'll keep exhaling in that fixation position. So you have one, two, three, and then other supplemental exhales in the fixation, but three exhales. The other option is just two exhales, the mandatory exhale in the backswing, and then fixate. And of course, if you need extra exhales and fixation, you take them, okay? So you have the option for three exhales or the option for two exhales. Now, depending on your pace, you may not need extra exhales. So for example, if you're going at a 15, 16 rep per minute pace, you might be able to Maybe once in a while, every four reps or every five reps, you take an extra exhale fixation. But if you take too many extra exhales of fixation, the pace is going to slow, of course, because you're taking time. So think about where or feel where you're going to need those extra exhales. You can either plan it or go by feel. Toward the end of a set, if the weight is heavy for you, um, whether it's 16 kg or 24 kg, if it feels heavy for you and you're starting to get fatigued, you're probably going to need those extra exhales. But in the beginning, you may not. Then finally, when we are fatigued and we're going into our power lifts where the pendulum is greatly reduced and we're really powering the bell up from the squat, it's advantageous to use the three exhales. So that would be and then option for an extra. Because when you're fatigued and you're going with the power lifts, your pace is going to slow naturally and you're gonna need that extra core support and that extra breathing with the three exhales, minimum of three exhales, to get that bell up. So that's what I would recommend. So the power snatches at the end of your set might look like this with the breathing, focusing on the exhales. So let me take it up first. There's your extra exhale. So think about where to exhale and don't be afraid to change it up as you go it through your set. Feel where you may need to breathe more and maybe in the beginning you may need to breathe less. I hope that's helpful. See you next time.